Welcome Scorpio Sagittarius to your end of the month reading for December. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. And this reading, of course, could possibly start going into the beginning of the month of January and right into the new year, um, being that it's so close to the 31st right now. So, okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. Best message, please. Most needed message. Ooh. Taking a journey. Nice. Pack your bags. Let's go, right? So it is, Spirit is saying that it is time for you to get ready for a journey. Something is coming your way. Um, there's going to be some kind of work or creative endeavors that is coming at you um, that you, is really going to spark your attention. Um, whatever journey occurs, whether it's for love, work, or whatever it is that you're doing, um, it is time to leave something behind. Um, remember that this is there's no such thing as a 100% safe zone, right? You need to get out there and do what you need to do. It's time to find and explore um, what is needed for your path, okay? So don't let opportunities um, pass you by, pretty much, right? So there is this journey that is going to um, pretty much lead you into something, kind of getting your attention. I just keep feeling it's like this nagging, pushing feeling that I'm getting over here that's like, look, I'm, tr I'm trying to tell you something. So clarifying on the journey. You have courage upside down. Yeah, definitely have somebody nagging at you. Um, this is definitely somebody trying to get your attention. Something is opening up for you. Um, definitely with the courage upside down. That, that card is talking about getting noticed. Um, there's an important situation that's calling for you to step out of your comfort zone. Like I said, there's no, there's no safe zone at this time. You're going to have to get out of your comfort zone. Um, don't let it frighten you. You know, don't avoid what you need to do. Okay. Take the challenge. Um, in fact, it's requiring you to make some kind of radical action. Um, it might be something that you're not really wanting to do over here, but it's the need to rise up and stand up and take this deep shift that's coming towards you. It's a great opportunity in the end. Um, okay. And then for others of you, it could just be letting go of drinking, drugs, gambling, overeating, things that are obsessive as well. The card can also be talking about that. So taking the journey into um, challenging yourself for the new year resolutions of maybe going to the gym, things of this nature. So never know what it is, right? It could be waging against you though. Um, <clears throat> okay. So let's see what's, what's going on over here. So no matter what it is, it's calling you to take this action. And it could just, like I said, just be some kind of new job. Um, it might be a job that you think you can handle, but maybe it's something that's kind of a little bit so different. Um, that you're not sure that it's something you really want to go towards. You could even have a lot of good um, opportunities to the job that maybe they don't pay good enough to start with, so it's a little fearful, right? So there's, it's a general reading, guys, so it could be something of this nature. Let's see what's going on, though. Getting straight into the situation, taking place in the present, the recent past, and the near future. See how we get on this area over here. No time to wait. <laughs> No time to wait with the sands of time upside down. It's like when this comes, it's clicking at you. Um, okay. And in the recent past is the will, the wisdom, and the mind. So it might be something that you already know. It has been nagging at you for a while, and maybe this is going to nag back. So maybe it was something you were kind of pushing to the, you know, to the side, and it's nagging back at you, and you're like, oh, gosh. It just feels like where there was a will, there was a way that you were thinking at the time, or I'll get to that later um, with the two worlds over here with the uh, two of schools. So definitely having something going on over here that's talking about, well, you're going to have to, you're going to have to make two worlds of it. You're going to have to live in this world plus this other world because you're going to have to take this journey, right? This journey is very important for you, um, no matter what it is. And it is going to feel like kind of a, a split between you know, what you're 
the norm is for you versus now having this other thing to do. So it almost feels like it's kind of dividing your worlds up. One of those things, like if the doctor says you have to go to the gym and you're like, oh, well, you know, I'll, I'll get to that later. But they're like, no, no, you're, you have high blood pressure. You really need to get to the gym. You need to do this. You know, um, that's going to kind of divide your two worlds, right? Because now you have to the, the gym world and the work world, you know, the home life world, however, right? Some of you might even feel like it's three worlds. <laughs> okay, will and wisdom and, and the mind over here. Yeah, you have this message that's come come in. I think this is a message for a lot of you that you've already had before. And you, like I said, you just kind of pushed it to the side, not really thinking about it yet, but it's traveling back to you. So it feels like whatever traveler was there before giving you this opportunity or nagging at you to do so is actually coming back. Um, so it does feel like the traveler is coming back. Um, with the sands of time upside down, it's saying, um, because you didn't focus on it, you've lost focus on it, right? And now it's, it's kind of screaming at you, but you're saying, I wasn't focused on that, on that journey. I kind of, like I said, I pushed it to the corner. I kind of separated myself from it and then here comes it again. So whoever is nagging at you or doing this could be definitely an Aries or a Sagittarius or a Leo, um, whether you know it or not, if it's your doctor, they could definitely be a fire sign. Um, otherwise, whatever it is, it's really the power of fire over here is telling you to take the initiative that it wants some assertiveness out of you. So it's almost like the universe is saying, I need you to be assertive to this um, journey. I need you to take this journey. Um, don't fear the journey you need to get going now, right? Don't look back, just go. Kind of drop everything you have and go. Um, this is going to bring you the comfort that you need. Um, and everything else, you can kind of just let it go and just kind of um, do what you need to do. Make sure that you're analytically thinking, though, before going on this journey. Um, it's a, it doesn't have to be a real journey. It doesn't mean, you know, that it's, uh, you don't have to take it literal. It doesn't mean you're really packing bags and really going anywhere. Some of you might be. Uh, maybe you had a phone call from someone and maybe you need to go see mom, dad, a sister, brother. Um, it could be a literal journey. Um, but most of it is just, it's metaphoric, right? If we're doing something different. Okay. Yeah, it's something that you really don't want to take the reins in. It, it's something that you, you've been really putting off for, for a while, guys. It's like something I, I really just don't, I really don't want to do this. So it's almost like you're kind of downplaying this situation. In your mind, you're weakening it out. You're watering it down. <laughs> oh, it's not that big of a deal. I don't I don't know if I really want that. So it's not something you're really 100% right now taking the reins to do. Yeah, because you don't really believe that it really has all the opportunities that this, we're going to say this fire sign is saying that it has. Um, and it leaves you more kind of in confusion in some ways. But more than anything, it's more like, I don't know if I want this journey because... I don't know if it's really going to do anything. So I do feel like you don't feel like it's 100% necessary, but that also could be because of confusion to what you want to do, or it could be a lack of initiative, of assertiveness, not wanting to change anything around. Okay, it's like who has Taurus in their, in their chart, and here comes the Taurus card. I was sitting here thinking, who's got the Taurus in their chart who... Who's got the Taurus rising who says, I don't want change. I don't want to do it, man. You sound like me now. I don't want to do it unless it's something fun, right? You want to make me do that? Um, it's something that you have to go out that's slow and persistent, but it also feels like this fire sign is also coming at you very slow and persistent, um, not, giving up the, not giving up the ghost over here. So it is making you think. Um, so it is going to put you into this kind of thinking area over here that's going to make you have to make a choice. Do you want to take the journey or not? Do you want the job or not? Do you want to do what you need to do to keep your health on, on target or not? It's going to be a learning and teaching situation. And maybe that's another thing, you know, and maybe you are, maybe you're actually learning about something. Maybe you're looking it up. Maybe you're doing your homework about the situation. Because you don't see any good judgment really coming out of this. Um, so it does look like a lot of you might be doing a lot of research on the situation um, if it has something to do with learning. Otherwise, it's just more communication that's coming from 
the fire sign that's saying, okay, look, then we'll have this communication about this situation, but I'm still not seeing it as being a really good idea. But I want you guys to know, right, that it does have the four of wands. It is a good idea. Um, whatever it is, it is good for you. It opens up the doors. It is good and it has great stability. There is good health within the situation. It's good for your family, your friends, however you want to see it. It has a lot of hope and promise, right, with the Four of Wands bringing in that hope and promise. So there is a lot of good key elements to the situation, okay? So it's not like they're just bringing in nonsense. But it does look like there is a lot of thinking and maybe observing the situation or just learning about the situation through this other person. Okay, with the two worlds over here, it's saying that within the new year, you are definitely going to be split into this two world idea, really trying to bring yourself into the ideas of what is going on around you. Will you take this journey? Do you have the courage? Because it's saying that you should take this, this journey. Um, it says, when you receive this card, there is conflict in your life between the outer world, which requires you, and how your own spirit directs you. So your spirit is really wanting you to take the journey, but there's this two of swords is kind of putting you at a crossroads about the situation. Do you want that kind of change? Because it's definitely going to be a change. <laughs> right. It says you actually may have had a number of past lives where you wanted to focus on your spiritual growth and therefore join some kind of monastery or did something like that. That's for some of you. I, I never take that one into too much. Um, you know, it's a general reading. I don't worry about that. But I will tell you one thing. Here's the most important piece of this card. Besides that it's requiring you to do so. Okay, the most important part of this card is you are now again experiencing a polar polarity between a full self-realized spiritual experience and personal success in your day-to-day -day life. It often feels as if you have let one go in order to embrace the other, the push and pull. That's why I said it's going to feel like maybe I'm going to work and now I'm doing this. So there's going to definitely be some scattered energy um, about what you're trusting and how you're integrating yourself within this. But remember that there is a lot of truth going on within this. I don't think you guys have taken the journey yet. I think that you're still weighing your pros and cons. The way that it looks together, um, for some of you, you're going to say, yeah, I did, I did do it. But I'm thinking that you're still weighing the pros and cons um, in the near future. Um, it might have a time limit on it for a lot of you or no time limit at all. Um, and so it's just when you're ready to embrace it and do it. Um, clarify on the two of worlds. Yeah, it looks like you're still patiently planning. And you're, it's almost like you're waiting for the perfect time for you to be ready. You're waiting for the perfect time when you feel balanced. Um, so I do feel like you do feel like they're pushing and pulling on you. Um, and tugging on you and you're saying you're not really 100% ready for this just yet even though this this will bring in a lot of peace a lot of harmony once it gets settled right but right now it just feels a little chaotic oh my gosh I said chaotic and there it is it does it feels a little chaotic to you because of this it's it's a big change guys it, it is and you know it right absolutely two of wands I can't figure out yet. It brings a lot of growth, right? But you have to take a lot of action. Are you ready for that kind of growth? Are you ready for that kind of action? You're saying, no, I'm not ready for the cycle change just yet. I'm not ready for this to, to happen just yet. But if you guys don't take the initiative, how are you going to get the wheel of fortune to go in your favor, right? So you're using the ultimate awareness though, with the wheel upside down, because it's saying I'm aware of the situation, I just feel for my life right now, it's a little chaotic. And it does feel like it will push you into chaos um, if that's the way you want to see it. It's all going to be the way you perceive it. If you're going to perceive it, right, because the courage is upside down, right, with a little fear, if you're not super courageous and not super sure of the situation, it is going to cause that. Perception is hindsight 2020. It doesn't matter whether it's really chaotic or not. It's the way it's perceived. Um, 
and you're perceiving that it's going to make your world kind of upside down and you're, it just looks like you're not really 100% red. It's, yeah, it's all about perception. Your perception's not seeing the way it's supposed to be seen. Um, it's a big change. So you're trying to take control kind of the way you want to take control and you're telling the king of wands who is the page of wands who is the queen of wands who is the sagittarius leo or this aries i'm not seeing it the way you're seeing it i don't know i don't know this is a big step it's a huge step it's a journey it's a huge step i you, you know So it feels like you're trying to do whatever, you know what it feels like for some of you? For some of you, it feels like you're going, it depends on the situation, right? For some of you, it's kind of like, if this is the doctor, just if it doesn't resonate with you, throw it away. But this is kind of the way I'm seeing it with certain situations. If this is the doctor and they're saying that I need you to go to the gym, I need you to change your eating habits, your blood pressure's too high, I need you to stay away from salts and stuff, but I need you to do these steps and this diet and this stuff. And you're saying, I'm not going to the gym. I don't have time to go to the gym. I don't have the money. I don't have the resources. I don't have the time. I will take. So what you're pretty much telling him is I'm taking the reins into my own hands. I can watch what I eat and I can um, do jumping jacks in my own house. You see what I'm saying? So you're kind of changing the journey in the near future sideways. You're not 100% letting it go for a lot of you, right? You're just kind of turning it in your own favor. That way there is no wasted money. There is no 100% chaos disruption of the household. Um, you see what I'm saying? And that's really what it feels like. So however this is, it's kind of like that's what you're doing. You're going to take the reins a different way. Sidestep of a huge journey. And which spirit really wants you to take this journey. Yeah. Yeah, you're separating yourself from what the king, what the wand says. We'll say Sagittarius, but more Sagittarius than anything. So you're, you're, you're sidestepping the Sagittarius. You're saying, I, I'm not going to do that. So you're going to separate that. You're not going to take this leap of faith is what it looks like. Yeah, you're not taking the offering. You're sidestepping it. But the problem is, is, is that the, the offering, right, is actually good for you, right? And it brings in what? Blessings. So, but it just looks like there's not a perfect timing for you right now um, because that's the way you're perceiving it. Right, so you're saying, no, 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 I'm making my own opportunities. I'm going to sidestep this and kind of do that. But Spirit's kind of saying you're kind of thieving the situation away from yourself for the better good. Because remember, all the cards that you have in the Akashic area are saying, but this is what your soul wants you to do. And you're sidestepping away from what your higher self's telling you to do. Yeah, so you surrender so that you don't have any upsets, right? So... But you are definitely, see, they are trying to come at you passionately, right, for this journey. They're trying to make you understand, but you don't want to take the transfer. You don't want to take this transformation. Wow. Because you, there's something going on, like I said, and it feels more of kind of fear-based. The spirit says you really need to take this. You know, rest and get out of your anxieties. Don't allow it to, you know. Because it's going to put you on a new direction, a new path, right? And it's super inspiring, but you only see, instead of seeing the inspiring pieces, you're only seeing the chaos once again, right? The disruption, which that's really what it feels like. Scared of the disruption. Um, but actually, this could change the new year for you into having something better on your path once you get past that. So hopefully we'll see this reading again, maybe in the Astro Dice or the beginning of the month reading for next month um, to see whether or not you're going to think about what it is the Spirit told you today. Um, and maybe it'll help you uh, write down maybe pros and cons to the situation to see, you know, 
do I really want to sidestep this? Is it really a good situation? Um, for some of you, it could even be new love with a fire sign. Because I see a lot of love, too. Do you want to take that chance? However it is. Okay. Alrighty, my friends. And that was it for you. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.